the craft. So, this is the first time on this map for me. It's this guy, the farmer. Welcome to Dairy Craft. As you explore our world, you will learn all about milk, where it comes from, how it's made, and what you can do with it. We have three activities for you on this farm. Talk to my friends to start your journey. Did you know milk is used to make all kinds of different foods? This lesson will take you to the processing plant where you can make ice cream, yogurt, and more. As a milk truck driver, I deliver milk to from farms to processing plants like this one, where it can be made into many dairy products. In this chest, I've saved some milk for you. Pick up the buckets and head into the processing plant to discover what milk can do. Let's go refill some milk. This must be the processing plant. Yep, fretting when uncontained liquids taking the shape of their container solids made definite volume and hold their shape. To learn how to make dairy products, you need to understand the states of matter. These describe whether something is a solid, a liquid, or a gas. You can change the states of matter by heating or cooling, which is how we can turn milk into cheese, for example. Take the book on the lectern to find out more. To learn about states of matter as well as chemical and physical changes, you're ready to make some food. Before I let you into the kitchens, I need to test your knowledge. Is a frying is frying an egg a chemical or physical change? Okay, so frying an egg. So it's heat. That is a chemical. That's right. You talk to you. Welcome to our processing plant. Here we take raw milk from the farms and turn it into product ready for drinking. We also use milk to create other products such as yogurt, cheese, ice cream, and butter, you're, which you're going to learn how to make. Head to the briefing room to con All right. Yogurt is delicious and simple to make. Read the recipe book on the lectern and follow the instructions using the milk you picked up from the milk truck driver. Once you made your yogurt, let me know if you think it was a chemical or physical change based on what you learned. Okay. Pasteurized milk. The milk is heated to 75 degrees Celsius and held there for at least 15 seconds. 75 degrees. Heat the milk. The milk is heated again to about 85 degrees Celsius. This breaks down the denture protein so they don't form. This breaks down. Let the milk cool. Allow it to cool it to about 45 degrees Celsius. Add the bacterial. A bacterial culture is mixed in. And the yogurt is left to allow fermentation. Let the yogurt sit. Enjoy your yogurt. Talk to him. Chemical. That's right. When a bacteria is added, the lactose in the yogurt next door. Can't go over there. Gotta go around the dairy worker. Okay, cheese, cheese, cheese. And talk to him. When you made the yogurt, the milk was heated first to stop curds from forming. When we're making cheese, we need those curds. Check out the cheese recipe on the lectern and try it yourself. Then come back to me and choose whether it was a chemical or physical process. So it's basically stating uh, oh, this way. So I need to take one of these, heat it. So now we've got pasteurized milk. All right. So step two, add bacterial to it. All right, made curds. Okay, step three, heat to separate curds from whey. And we gotta, we gotta make all these different things. All right, ice cream kitchen. Let me go, go ahead and take this book because I know. Now that you made yogurt and cheese, Finally, someone's here to help. Turning milk into butter isn't so complicated. Just follow the recipe on this lectern. I wonder if it's a physical or chemical change. Let me know what you think. Alright. Finally, someone's here to help. Uh, that was a chemical change because of the fact that... Change because it's a fact that milk powered up for... From poop to power. Oh my god. Biodigester. Oh my... Welcome to the biodigester. This machine helps you convert poo into energy. Cow poo helps goes in and, and gas is released to use to, as an energy source. The leftover material can be used as a fertilizer. Pick up some poo from the manure pit outside, bring it here, and put it on three left. We gotta go to the field opposite of this building, so this must be the field, the manure pit, test field, test field. All right, well, it's giving us more, um, more. So we, I guess we, we plant these. And we grow. Oh, so it's it's like a uh, bone meal. It's exactly what it is, bone meal. Just retextured bone meal. Look at. So whatever we just got done doing it was probably, I want to say it was moss, moss blocks. Mm -hmm. You complete this activity. Okay. 
Milk contains an incredible amount of nutrients. Discover what nutrients milk contains and its benefits by clicking the link below. Let's go. Nutrients and your body. Farmer, welcome to my farmhouse. We're lucky to live on a farm because milk provides us with so many nutrients needed for a healthy diet. 15, in fact. Can you find those 15 nutrients around the house? Read the information booklet around each nutrient and pick up the foods which provide an alternate source to milk. We've got vitamin B12. This one is thiamine. Um, here's one, two. So, cheese. Vitamin A. Okay. We've got <laughs> Panasonic. All right. We've also got zinc. Zinc or almonds, whoever wants to be that specific. We got calcium. All right. We got vitamin D. Enhances calcium and photosphoric absorption on which strong bones and teeth depend. Other sources of vitamin D include mushrooms, peas, and tuna. Nothing in there. And then we've got magnesium, a factor in bones and teeth health. It also helps convert food into energy and tissue formation. Other s sources of magnesium include nuts, dark chocolate. How do I get back? Okay. I was going to say, how do I get back there? Jenny and Aiken. Oh, they're little kids. Stop. Stop. Okay, my turn. So what do you think of the new tricks? So you think you're a nutrition expert. When you're working on a farm at night, it really helps to have a good night vision. Can you tell me which nutri nutrients would help with that? Ooh. Mag it wouldn't be magnesium, because magnesium is a teeth strength. Uh, it would be... Vitamin D is like a... Is also known as for the sun. I'm gonna go with vitamin B12. Not quite. Try again. Other options. B12, B vitamin A, vitamin D, night vision. So you're an expert. Here's the milk boost. This should help. Age. What? Which is just as well, because farmers need to be super strong for all the heavy work they do. Protein. Pretty useful for helping in my strength. Can you guess which of these good sources of protein? Cheese? Yes, and it tastes great too. Hi there. So you're so you're who Ankim sent to help. I hope you're up to the task. We need to get these 25 hay bales into the silo, but the ladders have broken off. You'll need to jump to get to the top, and these milk boosts might help you out. Hay bales. Okay. I don't see anything wrong with it. Oh. All right. All right. Honestly, don't know where I'm going up at. Nearly as fast as me. I hope you've got the hay bales. You'll need to jump in through the top of the silo. Place all 25 hay bales in there. It's quite dark in there. If you still have the night vision boost from Jenny, now would be the best time to use it. If you ever wanted to know what a dairy farmer does all day? Click on the button below to an experience a day to day in the life of the farmer and then try to build your own farm. Let's go on the farm. Real cows. <laughs> All right. I think it's about time you learned about the day in the life of a farmer. Now that now you now is your chance to explore the whole farm. Speak to nine of my colleagues around the farm to learn about their roles. This compass will point you in the right direction. Cows choose when they want to be milked and come t to these machines. They are given food while being milked and exit when the milking is complete. So that is the mil milker. Okay. Working with animals every day is amazing. It can be messy. The barn is where cows live and needs to be cleaned daily to make sure that they have a healthy and hygienic environment. Alright. The veterinarian. The veterinarian. I provide health care for the cows. I may have to provide emergency care such as surgery as well as vaccinations and preventative health care. So that's one, two, three, four, I want to say. Where are you next? Out here. Okay, dairy nutritionist. I give recommendations to the farmers on cattle feed. This is essential in maintaining good milk production and decreasing any health problems for the cows. <laughs> You may also be interested in where farmers live. Head to the farmhouse to find out. Free stall barn. Office and control room. Alright. Nobody up here. Still don't know how they get out. 
How does everybody get out? They don't just open up this and jump out a window, do they? I'm sure not. not. Oh, let's talk to this guy. The salesperson. I travel to farms to sell and provide information about products. Those products could be farm tools or machinery. Like you can see here in the, the drive shed. Have you spoken to all nine farm workers? If so, I have a key for this tractor. Follow the compass needle to the pasture fields behind the barn. So, at, that is later. Alright. We got a hay barn. I'm not seeing any more. I see one more right there now. Just as I said something. I see a farm... Finally, some help. I need to bring seven cows to the field. Not just any cows. I need one of each breed. Use the guidebook and chest to find out more about the breeds. And use the leads from the chest to help the cows back in the red pen in the barn. Right click to attach the leads to the, cow, to the posts. So seven of each. So there is seven dairy cows. Holstein cows made up a vast majority of herd cows by a much smaller number of Jersey cows. The remaining breeds make up the rest. Other thing. Holstein. Originally from the Nether Netherlands. Black and white. Made up from the majority of the herd. Jersey, originally from the Isle of Jersey, ranging from light to dark brown. The second most popular cow on herd. Ashire, originally from Scotland. Rusty red and white markings. Known as the Aristocat of dairy breeds due to their large size, known for their hardiness and something. Brown Swiss, originated in Switzerland, ranging from silver to dark brown. A strong and rugged cow, but also very gentle and docile. Guernsey, originally from the Isle of Guernsey in the English Channel. Golden color, often with white markings, known for their rich golden color and milk. Milking Shorthorn, originally from Northern England, color is red and white. Catadine, from Can Canada, color is black, brown, and a or russet coat. Known for their hardiness to survive harsh climates and their quiet nature. Milking Shorthorn, that's, that's it, okay. So, okay, that's what a Gemacy looks like. Holstein, Jersey... Canadine, Shorthorn, a sire, Brown Swiss. I'm sure they're not going to make it easy. Alright, so first off, we can get one of those. Alright. See, they weren't kidding when they had, I need seven. One of each. Well, here's one. I can go by the color, so I've already got him. I don't got him yet. That's three of the seven. I'm sure they're not going to make this easy. I see one that I haven't picked up yet. Three more. So we got four out of the seven. I'm sure there's stuff. Oh, yep. Yeah, one of these, because he's different color. Alright, so there's two more. Okay. I can wait. So. Let me go ahead. Place them right here. Alright. For now. And let me look at that poster. Alright, so, Garnacy, so we got mostly brown cow, yep, that, this cow, six out of the seven, so there's three of them that I'm missing. Actually, there's four that I'm missing, because there's two, yeah, two of them that I'm missing. There's this one cow, one of these cows don't want to, that one's connected. So we're missing, which one's we're missing? So, okay, so there's two, okay, there's three browns, different browns, okay. See, we've got the three different brown variants. All right, so we can take, get rid of that one, get rid of that one, get rid of that one. And then the canadine is a canadine. Almost. I'm lost. I'm not too sure what's going on here. I 
That means we still got the Eshire and the Holstein. But we got this one, but we only got two left. So what's there? Garnasty. I'm confused. So we got. According to my calculations, we got all seven, but there's only four there. I don't understand. Something's not adding up. Because we've got that too. So, milking short horn. We'll sleep around with a little white on it. We'll sleep around with a little white on it. Yes. Milking Shorthorn is done. Brown Swiss, mostly brown. Or all brown. Okay, there's two of them. Is it... I feel like I'm going nuts over here. Okay. So, it doesn't got them big eyes, so I got that one. But is it... Okay, Brown Swiss and Garnasty. Garnasty has... That so then that means Oh, this is <laughs> Brain Buckler. So I know I got this one. Well, Alright. But I got this one. So take all these off. Okay. So first things first. We've got this one coming with me all right this is an a shire all right So, the only one we don't got is a jersey, right? Yeah. Can you go away, cow? I can't see what I'm doing. Why not go over here? There we go. Jersey. Okay, so let me go ahead and get one. One more, okay. This here is a Holstein. All right, I figure if I can bring them over here as I go, I can then identify them. So this is a fancy. All right, three more to identify. And it's difficult. So here we go here's one. Did I get this one yet? That's before I let him loose. Let's figure this out. Should be three of them. Yep, I need this one. This one. There's a milking short horn. Two left. Why do I got three left? Did I not pick up that lead? Oh, I... No, because they're still tight. I am just losing my mind right now. Oops, right here. Okay. So I had gotten the white ones. Oh, there's one. Pick and run. Oh, 
Come on with me there. I'm Bob the Farmer, that's what I am today. <laughs> no, 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 not Bob the Builder, Bob the Farmer. Losing his head over this. Is this just a jersey? Or is this a kid Kidians? Classifying you as that, okay? So, I'm looking for a most uh, all brown, all light brown cow, okay? Why do these pens have to be so big? <laughs> Here's a jersey. A jersey cow. What else? What other cow am I missing? Whoops. <laughs> cow can't go through if the door is closed. Okay, so this is a jersey. We got Holstein. We are missing the brown Swiss, which... This is really hurting my mind. Doesn't even want to turn to me, so... Okay... You are not a jersey. You are a brown sauce. Back to the red pen in the barn. Right click to attach the leads to the pets. I need to find a jersey one first and I will. Nobody gets in my way or they will get hurt. Alright. In, through, gate you go. Alright. Let's collect the other cows. Move this cow out. Did I literally just... Lead this cow to... Really? You had to get in my way. Seven. So there's seven cows on the loose. Okay, I got them all. Oh, I just don't want to do this ever again. Having to sort cows. Um, why are you? Oh, because you got you lost the lead. Okay. Something about in here in the red pen. But you all right there for now. Is this what Burmese actually like? Alright. Yeah, place you on there. You on the there. They only have one at a time. Six, there's one not at least, and there's one with no lead. Gotta, what happened to that one lead? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and I'm seeing three, six cows. What happened to number seven? According to my calculations, that's it. But there's 
one with See, I am lost. There is a leap there. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I did find a lead. Is there a loose cow somewhere? Just taking a leisurely joyride. Or a joy stroll. That's the thing, I don't know what it would look like. Or did it pull and jump on in here? So then that's... Which one was it? So we've got... Well, I wouldn't went to be. He jumped up over here. Went right on into the pen. Now we need to figure out how to get you out. Get you out. Jump up here. But. I don't know how to get you out now. Wait, why ain't you coming with me? Kid. So confused. I'm hoping this is the right one. It is. So what's next? I need to bring seven cows in the field to the barn, not just any cows, one, any one of each breed. The guide book in the chest to help you with more about the breeds and use the leads in the chest to help the cows get back in the red pen in the barn. Right click to attach the leads to the posts. Yeah, I did that. Mm -hmm. I am confused. But I guess that's telling me that there's one this way. Back to over here. My my brain my brain was just not there. It was just take take the brain out of my skull, put it in a blender, and then mix it with a couple pieces. And there, that's what my brain was. So is it in here? Yes, David. Welcome to the farmhouse. Farmers live where they work, so this is our home. Head over to the crop fields next. It's quite a long way, but luckily there's a milk boost for you in the chest. B2. Alright. Ready, set, go. It's leading me this way, so I wonder what could be over here. Oh, the fields. I hate these custom trees. And I'm in the water now, and I'm This is a crop farm. We grow lots of corn and hay for our cows. 
This machine here is a baler. We use that to cut crops and compress into compact bales which are easy to handle, transport, and store. Once we've collected crops, we store them in a silo. Why don't you head there next? <sighs> Fine. But first, number one worst farmer. Alright. Ava, these are silos. Silos are airtight towers used to store animal feed. They store large amounts of grain to keep it protected from wind and rain. All right. Okay, in here. Field service person. It's my job to visit farms and make sure quality and safety guidelines are followed. Drive the tractor to the pasture fields. Hi there. I'm looking to set up a new farm. Will you help me build it? Mm-hmm. I got a key, but where? It put me out here, okay. So, what's next? Suppose I gotta run over here. Oh, I'm in creative, okay. I can just fly over there, okay. Talking about this guy, okay. Um, where is that dude again? Um, was he over? Yeah, he was over here. All right, salesperson. It put me in creative, so I put myself back in survival. I travel to farms to sell, we've seen, so. If so, this key is for the distractor, fellow compass needle to the pasture field behind the barn. Okay. For sneak to exit the combine. Pasture fields. Wasn't that what I was just at? Oh, it's anywhere I look. Okay. Oops. Well, we'll get there when we get there, I guess.
All right, we're here. She's like, I just seen a tractor in my face. What do you want? Yeah, what do you want me to help build it with? I'll run you over. Fuck. Fine. Like I said, what do you want me to help me? Help with? It just put me into creator mode. Automatically. So I think we're going to have to build a farm. In this area. I don't know. Well, that does it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's been a... It's been hard on my brain. This, It's been hard on my brain. Well... Hope you guys enjoyed, and without further ado, peace.